Hey, what's going on, everyone? Well, today I'm on a service call. Got it all the way down to this unit here for the computer room. It's not cooling. So we'll find out what's going on with it and why it's not cooling. Nice big empty roof. You don't want HVAC stuff everywhere because it's a shipping, not like next door. Okay, now we're getting closer. I'm looking for a unit two. This one here looks like it's operating, unless it's just draining because it's off and it's frozen. But this looks like it's draining. Which unit do I have here? So I'm looking for unit two. Nice. Nothing's labeled, but I mean I have water around everything, but this. This is on top of that server room. And I also have a ductless split there on top of that server room. My drain doesn't look like I have any action, nothing coming out of the drain. All right, I'm gonna guess this is unit two. Okay, I knew I should have brought my knee pads up here. Well, let's see what's going on with this unit and why we're not cooling. I'm gonna apologize because, yes, I forgot. The little piece to allow me to wear this camera so i'm going to be setting it up and you guys will watch me Back here, you can check Y1. Let's first plug this in. I'll tap that right there. Boom. Hit it in. And let's go. We got 24 volts. So you got power into the unit. So power is coming in. I don't have power in my contactor. That's going to tell me I have an open safety somewhere. So I have blue and black wires here for my safeties. Circuit is good. Voltage on here. Okay, with both my switch is closed. I should not read any voltage. At zero on this. So, okay. so my blue. And that power to it at least. Power 
power to it. Okay. Just, they got a time delay just for Y2. So, I didn't see an economizer. So let's just put this here real fast. Clip that there. And we'll Go by the compressor real fast. And it tilts the bag up a little. Look, all my screws are missing. Somebody's been coming in here a lot. protection
a big jump. Okay, but at least I have power to it. go. There's an asshole missing what was right in front of him the whole time. Yep. Oh, hey, it is what it is. Nope. If that was the case, it would turn on. Okay, let's quickly stop the unit. Since I want to accuse the time delay, here's an easy way around it. Just connect the wires right here. Don't even worry about your time delay at this point. Because this is going to eliminate. Y2 should bring on the compressor when it does come on. pressure control for cycling my fan, but that should not interfere with my contact. It shouldn't. Unless, yes, the whole problem is in the back. Doesn't look like this did anything. So now. Y1 I think is gray to blue, just like the jumper on there is. So now we're at the economizer for Y1. really 
nothing else over the machine at all. So it could be about an empathy controller. Not so many 24s on contact. Because it wants to be a free pool. Found free pool in a computer room. That's really not going to work. Okay, jump in. So, the gray wire open here comes from the gray wire here, and that's the gray wire. They've only got one gray wire in this bundle coming to here. On control. the wire nuts. Oh. oh, look at that, still no. coming from that's when do I have a loose wire so it's coming from the gray from 24 is coming here so 24 is coming here now through here through here through the blue the other side of the blue is here. Oh my goodness, I'm an idiot. Did I really just miss my low pressure switch? Was at fault the whole time. Power to it, I don't have power. The blue is my high. Whatever. Uh, and I got voltage. I have an open switch. Okay. Well, I'm going to bring my gauges up here just to see what's going on. But the blues, if I eliminate, will start. the blue there off. Yeah, we've eliminated that. Now we're going to come through here with the black. We don't have blues no more. Black up and through. Black up and around. Okay, the blue can stay on my contactor. But here's our AC. And I missed something as simple as that. Oh, 
Oh. There we go. There's the compressor. Okay. So now we're on. I'm going to bring my gauges up here to find out why that safety tripped. I'll be back. Okay, well first things first, before I do anything else, power still off. A little pressure. Some guys can't admit to making some big mistakes. Other guys can. I made a mistake. And I'll admit it because you know what? I gain nothing by not making mistakes. I gain knowledge every time I make a mistake. We all do. Whatever gas, because I don't know if I've always wanted to afford that in here. But it's all out. That's another mistake I probably make, but I don't believe that there's enough oil in my hoses to contaminate a system. Unless I'm on a burnout or a really nasty system, I don't think I need to blow it out of I don't think I need different hoses. I don't think I need different gauges. I've been doing 20 years of sweat. Let's see oil. Let's see what sort of gasoline or anything. No oil. I didn't find Earl. So, take off my caps. One cap, two caps. Make sure my gauges are closed. Big leaker. He's flat. I actually have to make a phone call on because I'm losing all my strength. So I'm just going to refill when. I don't have any pressure. I'm on this side. There is a safety here. Control that window. I didn't see any oil. Ah. Uh, uh. If you look, this is shiny. Oil. Yeah, I've had them give out. So let's get into that. Let's... 61, I've been resting my tool bag on, trying to give you guys the right angle. And these are things to look for when you're doing work. I'm going to even let you guys go right in front of it. Because I think I'll be able to work with this here. I put something under it. It's 
So I mean, I can actually recharge this unit. Nothing there. Nothing there. There. So, it's oily here. Top the electric. <laughs> right there. I think my electric did caused it. You see on the other side. You know, the day he destroys the night. There's the hole. Okay, we I found the hole. Right here is the hole. And it was most likely from rubbing on the electric. There's my leak. I'm surprised I don't have oil anywhere in here though. But it hit the wire and ran down with the wire. Okay. So what I think I should do is disconnect it for now. Charge the unit. Come back when I have that piece. I'm gonna have to unwire the fan through there. Just so I can provide air conditioning for the server. Because the server room is very important. And there should be, I can say there is, but there should be something. I got a pin here or something. And also, I'm gonna need a wrench to hold back. I can't win. Guys, don't go out and have drinks on a work night. I was down the shore though with friends, weekend, why not? But you're seeing me make mistakes I usually don't make. And the reason was because, well, I had a good time. Swap it out real fast so I don't have to come back. Okay, so first things first, pull this crap through. Yeah, no, never mind. Let's not pull it through. I forgot to take off the other side, so let's just cut it. We already have a hole. Okay, it's gone. Pull it out the other side. fitting through, not the whole tea set. So I promise here. Home. 
check my fan wires. destroyed the leak but the leak is right here that's where I cut it so I almost cut the leak away but I'm like, hey guys you want to see where it actually leaked with it out in the open <laughs> doing a 50 degree cutout. Right there. So that old switch was set up for just our 22. This one's more set up for 410. So 220. About there. charge this unit. But, uh, this wall is not actually held in by screws. Alright. Let's put this here. Because it's wired, all I have to really do now is recharge this unit.
then I'll put the cover on this. Sending in gas. We're icing up almost instantly, but it's okay. Sucking in, that leak was right there. Just rubbed until it ruptured. It happens. So we have two pounds in the system. Suction pressure is above 100 now. It's not gonna have any power to suck. Switch. 
to be better than that one than else's speech. So, most of the time, I'm charge. And I think it may pull in the full charge. turning this back on once I clean up a little. So I'll let the machine run for a few minutes before I shut it down and fix the wires. Okay. Well, we're looking good. We've got a water fountain over here. We're just pouring a lot of water out of the air. So now it's time to shut it down. Finalize all everything I have to finish up. all my disconnecting. The compressor is not saturated. The compressor was saturated. I'm overcharged. That old compressor. La man. It's about to die. Well, hey, what's the end of summer? That's all they care about. They just want to run today. They don't even care the end of the summer. They just want air conditioning and they want it now. Now I tell you, not tomorrow, right now. What do you mean my server room can't be cool? Outside temp, we're about 97 here, so. Okay, the other side. This close my gauge up. Alright, you think the refrigerant off the roof? side we gotta put the lecture panel back on and finish any final touches
this up. Put it in place right here. That's gonna protect the copper and that wire from rubbing. Right. Let's get this wire. Let's fix this connection. See, in the August, it's not supposed to be so hot anymore, but it, is. it still is. guys are just all work, no play, I recommend to take a break. Life is short. We work so hard. Make sure you spend time with your family. Make sure you go to the beach. Even if at times you think your wife is some psychotic crazy lady. Some of that psychotic craziness goes away if you actually just spend a little time with them. It doesn't always, but sometimes it does. <laughs> never understand them and they'll never understand us so in the end that's just life men and women Hacker. Till next time. Thanks for watching.